Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about some stuff that you can start to do with algebra tiles. We looked before uh, adding and subtracting with them. Right now, I'm going to look at sort of just ways that we can sort of show expressions. And also, we can use it to do something called combining like terms. I'm going to be using fairly simple things, but you can do the same thing with much bigger, um, more elaborate things with more bigger numbers and things like that. We're starting with simple just so we can see the basics of what is happening here. So for example, if I had the expression x plus 3, and I just wanted to show what that looked like using algebra tiles, um, I'm going to remember we're using these three different ones. The blue squares represent a whole number, a positive whole number. The red square represents a negative whole number. So this is like this is positive 1, negative 1. And then as there's a picture up here, there's also this longer one, which it represents x. It's an unknown number. Okay, and it's going to change in every equation. But right now, we're just looking at ways to show an expression. So if I had x plus 3, I'm going to take 1x. I'm going to put down 1, 2, 3 blue tiles. This shows us x plus 3. We can't really do anything else with it. Um, but if we had to show x plus 3, that would be good. When we start solving equations, you have to know how to set this up. So this is x plus 3. Um, we could also get to some other expressions. Um, let's do this one right here. So if we had 2x plus 3 plus negative 1, we're going to take two x's, okay, just like this. I'm going to have add three positives, one, two, and three. And then I'm also going to add a negative one. Now remember, if you see ever see a pair, that's a positive one and a negative one, together, those cancel each other out, so I can actually just take those away, and that equals zero. So we have 2x plus 2. So what this tells us is if we combine these terms, we end up with 2x plus 2. Okay. So these are actually equal to each other, and this is where we have combined things together. So you can do a little bit of math with them. Um, let's, let me show you one other example, slightly bigger one. Now we've got a bunch of different stuff going on here. So we've got two x's, so I'm going to put two x's, plus negative two, so I'm going to put two negatives, plus another x, plus positive four. So now I'm putting four, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to combine, I'm kind of combining all this stuff together. You can see that these x's, this tells us now we have a total of three x's. So we're just sort of saying this also equals three x, and then for my numbers, I can do the math. So any pair that I see again, this is equal to zero. So I can remove that. This pair is equal to zero. So I can remove that. And so I now have 3x plus 2. Okay. So it's, a, it's just a way to sort of simplify, combine the x's together, combine the whole numbers or integers together. And this is sort of what we get. Okay, And this is the first step to then when you actually want to start doing algebra or solving equations. And that's just laying out an expression of what it looks like. Now, you can also do this by writing. Um, if you are drawing this, I would probably just use, um, unless you want to use the colored pencils, you could use like what we used before where we said a square filled in is equal to 1, a border of a square is equal to negative 1, and then you could just do a long sort of rectangle, right, and shade that in quickly and say that's equal to x. So if I wanted to, for example, show x plus 3, I would just draw a rectangle and then three of the little squares and shade those in. And that shows x plus 3. If I wanted to do one like this one right here, again, I would just draw two x's, shade those in, and I'm just going with this top part. I know it's going to end up like this. But two x's, three shaded in pieces, and then one negative. And then I see a pair, so I can cross those out, and I see 2x plus 2, again, because these are x's and these are our positives. And then finally, with the last one that we had here, where we had a bunch of stuff going on, I have 2x's plus negative 2, so I'm going to draw two of these. I'm going to leave a little space because I know I have more x's coming in, plus another x plus positive 4. So we have 1, 2, three, four, and all of these are shaded in. Again, I see some pairs, so I can cross out that pair and that pair, which tells us that we have 
3x plus 2 is what the simplified version of this longer expression is. So this is just how we use algebra tiles to write expressions.